All right, guys, we're up at uh, in Bland today at Bang Steel. You can be reached at bangsteel.com. It's my brother there. He's in from out west. He wanted to take the long range shooting clinic, so we're doing that today. Here's my brother there. On the spot and scope. There's Dan, the man, right there. If anyone's interested of coming up here and taking the clinic, Get in contact with Dan at bangsteel.com. We got a few friends today shooting. We've thus far shot from 100 to 600, and we're getting ready to move it to 6 to 1,050. All right, guys, we're up here today at Bang Steel doing the day clinic. I'll show you some of the rifles here. This is one of mine. It's my. 7 millimeter uh, STW. We just going to try to get both of these on there somewhat, somehow or another. There's my 6.5 Grendel. The suppressor. That's a stock Remington 243 with a uh, Bell and Carlson stock on it. Got an Elysio over here, 6.5 by 47 Lapua. Sweet set up there. And a 325 WSM with one of the Weaver Super Slams on it. Josh just got done tearing it up at 600. But if you're interested in coming up here, you don't have to have the most expensive gear ever. Just, you know, if you got some a good factory rifle that shoots well, don't let that hold you back because you can certainly come up and shoot. That was one of the targets they had at a, at a shoot here recently. It was at 600 yards and they had a, I'd say it's an 8 inch diameter hole, but they had a 10 inch steel plate behind there. and You had to hit the plate to get counted. Hey guys, show you what we got here. Sighted in at 100. The sun's so bright it's hard for me to see the camera. Started there sighting in at 100. Then we got our data for two and three. It's two. Let's see if I can get on the 300. There it is. 300 there and then try to find four four hundred right there and we went to six which is right up there now we're going to move to over to the silo. Just to the right of the silo, you can see their targets. And you go on up to the wood line to a thousand, I believe it's a thousand fifty. I'm thinking it's up in there somewhere. It's so bright I can't hardly see the screen. But anyway, it's an awesome place. Super nice guys. Dan's just one of the nicer fellows you could ever expect to meet. Thoroughly knowledgeable. He can help you help you out with anything. Some of the crew here. David, Josh, Ronnie, and Dan. David's just shooting the factory 243 and doing does great. Ready. 800 yards. That's right on the bottom. 
Okay, come up two clicks. Shoot again. Uh, probably you need about 20.5. Those shots we did not see just went right under the plate and got lost in that grass. Uh huh. So uh, let's try two clicks up and another shot. Okay. Barrel is a little warm. Yeah, this is probably the last shot in the last cool while back of this. Just getting our uh, yardage is down right now. Dialed up. Wind's picking up, as you can see with the mirage. Ready? Ready. Ricocheted and went way up the hill. I don't know what it hit. Left edge center? Uh, yeah, just left edge of the red box, I think. Oh, was, left of the box? Yeah, just left of the box. Ready? Ready. There you go. Good one. Bottom right corner of the box. I believe your elevation is okay right there. Uh huh. Uh, 20.5, 20.75. You might get a 20.75 wrong. All right. All right, let that and cool. Uh, yeah, let's try 19. Right, well. Here's 800 through the spotting scope. I'd rather hit a little low than over the top of it. Now we got Ronnie on the Samalicio action here, 800 yards, getting his dope. Ready? Ready. We went over top of it. So bring it down to about 18, 17 and a half. You got it moving pretty fast. What powder are you running? Target, 37 and a half. Okay. Yeah, it's hard to beat Varget in that cartridge or the 260 or the Creedmoor. You Everybody wants to run 4350, but Varget just shoots rings around it. The guy that had this shot 4350 and I couldn't find any, so I went to Varget. Well, that was a blessing by accident. Ready? <laughs> Ready. Right over top right corner, you're still a minute high. That's bringing it 16, isn't it? 16 and a half. Okay. That should have you on there. Um, you're going to need to favor left. We must have just the slightest bit of push to the right. So you can give it three clicks of left and hold center, or you can just uh, hold left. Soft. Soft left. Maybe right between the edge of the red box and the edge of the plate. How about that? All right. Ready? Yep. Uh, probably off to the right, or I don't know if it went over top of it. I couldn't tell. Send another one. What did it look like to you? Could you tell? I sent some splash and looked under it on the camera, but it's hard to tell if it. It's off left. Okay. Ready? Yep. Right there at the bottom yep. of the red box. Just a little low. So that probably was under it there, Jeff. Yeah. Uh, let's uh, bring it up two clicks, Ron, and try one. Here's Ronnie, 800 yards, Alicia with his new night force.
Ding. Awesome.